first of all guys do you see how cute my outfit is i bought this clothes yesterday and i feel so cute hi guys welcome to a new fun video in this video i'll make some fun clay creations i have three things in mind by the way if you notice my nails throughout this video please just ignore it because i've been wanting to do my gel nail polish for a while now but I just haven't had the mo motivation for it. I'm very excited about this project because I haven't done anything with clay in a while. Um, but it's really fun and I've seen so much inspiring stuff on the internet. So the first thing I want to make is a vase. I don't know how I will be able to make it all smooth and stuff. But I really want a cute vase and then paint a ni nice illustration on it afterwards. So yeah, those are the plans for this video. I really hope you enjoy. Get a drink, get a snack, get comfy. I really hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. Hi guys, I just put on a sweater because it's actually very cold. It's my handmade sweater, woohoo! So I have some tools here I found back this i have a cup of water here i have a knife so knife trigger warning um, and i have my air dry clay i'm going to just use air dry clay this was the cheapest clay option i could find at the hobby shop i also have like i have this cardboard to protect my table but i also have this to maybe make some things flat if i need to and then some paper towel to be clear i have zero experience with clay i did some things in the past but nothing really professional so i don't really know what i'm doing maybe i can use this to help with my vase oh there's a lot of dust in there maybe i should use this as a base maybe it will be a bit easier I'm gonna knead this into a ball first. It's actually very soft. It feels nice. And then I'm gonna roll it out, make it into a flat thing. I don't have a roller. I think that would be very easy, like a kitchen roller. So we'll just have to do with our hands for now. I'm gonna cut out around this bowl. And there we have the base of our vase. The base of our vase. I will put this here and now I'll make some rectangles to like build a wall around the vase. Like a wall, I don't know how to... Okay, will this work? Mona is on the chair in front of me. It's actually very nice clay, like the consistency is, it's not too wet, it almost feels flowery, flower-like. So I've put clay all around it and now I'm going to take a sponge and some water and smooth out the clay. And after that I'll just remove the flower pot that's inside. It's actually quite hard to get everything smooth. Didn't expect it to be this hard. <laughs> I don't think it wants to come out. Please let go of my lump of clay. Wow, nice. Okay, so now I have to make it in its original shape again, somehow. Yeah. Mona. Hi. Maybe if we use small sausages like this, we can build it up easier. That does not look like it should. <sighs> At the moment, I'm putting a bigger sausage on the inside of the vase to hopefully support it a bit more. Hey, it's actually working. I actually wanted it to be like a bigger vase, but I feel like it can't really support that much. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. Damn, I really wonder how people make vases that actually look good. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that looks very cute to be honest. I mean it looks kind of cute, but more in like a pathetic way. I mean it looks kind of cute. It's a bit weird and wonky, but maybe that's good. Maybe I can paint something cute on it. Hi guys, it is now a few days later. I think today I will film outside when I paint my little vase. I have my smoothie here. So about the vase, first I will sand it down a little bit and then I'll paint a little something on it. I actually thought my vase was quite cute until I heard the reactions of other people. <laughs> they were like, what is that? Um, now I'm a bit insecure about my vase because I thought it was a little bit ugly but still kind of cute. But I want to compensate by doing a very difficult painting on it. I already looked something up on the internet so I will print it out on my printer and then take everything outside and paint it in my little garden. In the meantime I also saw my mom and I was like mom how do you make a vase like this because she has experience with ceramics and she told me that when you do it with clay like that you have to do it over a time span of a few days so that the clay hardens a little bit and it gives more support and then the next day you can keep building on top of it and i thought that was a very good tip oh and i also wanted to give a little update if you watch my videos chronologically, you might want to get an update on the cardigan I'm working on, or maybe not, but I'm going to show you anyways. So this is what I have so far. This is taking forever. I am looking forward so much to it to be finished so I can start on a new project. Welcome to my garden thingy. I have all my things here. As you can see, it's very good, the weather. What do I have here? My smoothie. I have some protein cookies here, which I made myself yesterday and they're very good. I have my wonky ugly vase here, which I will first sand down with some sanding paper and I also have scissors to cut it. An ugly towel that can be used to like wipe off my paint brushes. I have this drawing which ended up being printed out a bit ugly but this is the inspiration for my vase. I'm very curious if it will be able to work out. <laughs> Probably not, but I can try. I have some water here, all my paints, a little plate to mix the paint, and then some random paint brushes. First, I'll start with sanding down this vase, but I don't know if I'll film this, but you probably know how to sand something. And then when I start painting, I'll probably film with my cell phone and do a little time lapse or something like that. and this is what I have so far. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It isn't that hard to do for me. I was thinking it would be like a quite a big quite a big of a challenge. By the way, I messed all this on my reference pick. And in the meantime, while I'm taking a break, my paint is drying up, which isn't ideal, but I'm very happy with what I have so far. I just accidentally pulled off this handle so I'll first have to um, glue it on again um, and I also noticed you can't see that much of my time lapse I hope it's still a bit obvious when I'm like filming in the shadow but yeah let's first glue this back on again <laughs> I 
I added some sparkles and I did the inside pink. So now I'll let it dry and then tomorrow I can add the finishing layer, so the Mod Podge. I really like how it turned out, but I'll show the final result at the end of this video. I'm now back inside, it was so hot outside. I'm actually very happy with how the vase painting turned out. I'm very happy I didn't give up because the shape was so blobby and weird and that I kept sticking through because I believed in the project and I saw something in it. And I'm also quite surprised with how it turned out. Basically how I did it is was I mixed up some colors on my plate and then I just did random blobs and shapes on the vase and then built up the colors on top of each other. I'm actually very proud and I mean my explanation of how I painted it is very unclear but I hope you get what I mean because I'm channeling my inner Bob Ross and I have no idea how I did it but yeah tomorrow I'll glaze it and finish it off and then and then I'll show you the final results um, yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out already, but one of the ears actually fell off, so I'm now kind of scared to touch it, or at least touch it at the ears. Um, I'll probably always touch it from the underside of the vase. Hi guys, you've arrived at the end of this video, and I'm going to show you the final result, but I just uh, glazed it or mod podged it so I'll be very careful to show you this is the final result I love it so much and I also really like it when it's a bit more shiny Ta -da! okay I'm going to put it away now yeah, I'm very happy with the result, although the shape is very blobby and probably not done correctly. But it was my first time and I have no experience, so I'm very happy with how... What? Yeah, I, I mean I made these. I made a few of these before. If it had a fun idea, maybe for next time, because my vase was so blobby, he said I needed to do a dolly design on it because the vase is so blobby so it would definitely fit his world his art world where everything is blobby and collapsing and stuff like that but yeah I did <laughs> this forest design which is also very fun but I'm going to leave it at that be sure to check out my other videos as well because I do a lot of crafty illustration and crochet content so be sure to check out my other videos as well because I put a lot of effort into them. And if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by liking, commenting and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day or night. Bye bye!